Hello everyone, it is great to see you here once again on Dee's Delights. Tonight I am going to be making the best crispy baked chicken nuggets. You know what? I like chicken nuggets. I can eat McDonald's. I don't care what it is. I love chicken nuggets and I'm sure these will be better than uh, fast food because they're made with real chicken and no fillers. So I'm looking forward to that. So what you're going to need for this recipe is one and a half cups of panko breadcrumbs. I'm using 4C and it just is seasoned with a little bit of Romano cheese. Nonstick olive oil cooking spray or whatever type of cooking spray you have. I uh, stopped at Walmart today and picked up some olive oil one because I just had vegetable oil, but either would be fine. One teaspoon salt, one teaspoon black pepper, one teaspoon onion powder, one teaspoon paprika, and a half teaspoon of garlic powder. Now here it's calling for a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. That's optional if you want a little heat. I will not be adding that because I don't like to have that much heat in my food. Two eggs, two tablespoons. This recipe recommends almond milk or milk of your choice. I'm just going to be using 2% milk. One pound of boneless, skinless chicken breast cut into one inch cubes. I have mine prepared. I just use some kitchen shears to cut them up and just make sure you cut out any gristle or anything you won't want in your chicken nugget. Also for this recipe, they want you to line the large baking sheet with an oven safe rack. Alrighty, so what we want to do is preheat the oven to 400 degrees. We want to add the panko breadcrumbs to a large baking sheet and spread out in an even layer. Spray breadcrumbs with nonstick olive oil cooking spray. Then we're going to bake it for two minutes. So we don't need our rack yet. So the panko breadcrumbs, we're going to use one and a half cups. Spread them on out there. And then we'll spray them with the olive oil spray or vegetable oil spray or whatever kind of spray you have. Let's get them like this. Even. And then we're going to put them in the oven for about two minutes. In the meantime, get all of your other ingredients ready. It says in a separate medium bowl, whisk together eggs and milk. Set aside. So we'll go ahead and have that ready. So that is two eggs and two tablespoons of milk of your choice. In another medium bowl, and we're going to transfer the breadcrumbs to this one, but let's get all of our other ingredients ready while we're waiting for that to bake. So let's put all of our spices in here. We're going to need one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon black pepper, one teaspoon onion powder. There's our breadcrumbs. What we want to do right now is stir them around a little bit and put them in for another two to three minutes. One teaspoon paprika, one half teaspoon garlic powder. Okay, and we'll mix those all together. This is also the same bowl we're going to put the panko breadcrumbs in. They're starting to get a little brown, so I might only want to leave them in for two minutes. Well, that's what we want. We want them a little bit brown, but some of them are getting browner faster than others. Okay, you're going to want to keep the oven heated at 400 degrees because we're going to use that. So what we're going to do is mix the panko breadcrumbs in with the spices. And then we're just going to use the same baking sheet. So let's mix those all together. I wiped it out just a little bit and I'll put my wire rack inside the baking sheet and then we're going to spray that. Next we'll dip each chicken cube into the egg mixture, then use a tong to grab each chicken nugget and toss it into the breadcrumbs mixture and completely coat with breadcrumbs. So I'll get my little baby tongs out. My panko breadcrumbs there. Some of these are going to be bigger than others. You know what? I'm going to do a few at a time. I could actually put all the uh, chicken in there at one time. I'm not going to be able to do that for the breadcrumbs, but I'm just going to mix it around with my hands. I know it's kind of gross, but I'm used to gross. <laughs> that give you raised four kids. I'm used to gross. <laughs> it's 
says to pick it with tongs. I don't see. I can see picking it with the tongs to get them out of there, but I'm just going to throw them in there. Unless you're squeamish, go ahead and do it with the tongs. And then I'm just going to mix them around with my hands. Make sure you have them a little bit, about an inch apart. Tell you what, I'm not even going to use the tongs. Some of these are big. I should have probably cut some of these. <laughs> that one's like a monster. Generously spray the tops of the chicken nuggets with nonstick spray. And remember, this has zero calories, so you're not adding calories like you would if you were frying it up in grease. Even though, next up, we're going to be making mashed potato balls, which are fried in grease. That's going to be a, the episode right after this, so stay tuned. So let's spray. It says generously. That's good enough. And what you want to do is bake for 15 to 20 minutes until cooked through and temperature reaches 165. So it says that it serves four. Let's see if she has the calories here. A serving would be quite a few chicken nuggets. And one serving has 227 calories. So I have a little extra chicken here. So let's just say one serving, cut this in four, has about 275. Not bad. Not bad at all. My chicken took about 20 minutes in the oven. They look delicious. I'll try one here. Try one of the small ones. They're pretty good. You can dip these in whatever sauce you like, whether it be ranch dip, honey mustard, barbecue, ketchup. Mm, pretty good, pretty good, not bad. So yes, I would recommend those. They're easy to make. They're low in calories, and I think you'll enjoy them. And I'll show you in the next episode how to make mashed potato balls. Thanks for joining me. Have a great evening, everyone.